What's up Peloton? Uh, my name is Debbie Shadani and this is Bob Hussey. Hey everyone. I'm so happy to welcome you to my 20 minute flipped and bound class. Um, today we're going to need a mat. We're going to need a blanket if you need it for your knees and we're going to be needing blocks if you, if you would like them. I'm thinking today is an advanced class, so just meaning that you know what you typically do and how you can modify it would be great. We're gonna start off with some sun salutations, and then we're gonna go into um, sort of using both directions. So make sure you can see me in a way that you can look in sort of both directions. Maybe like a horizontal mat would be good. Um, and then, we're gonna warm up our shoulders and we're gonna do some uh, sort of poses, like headstand poses. So if you need a wall, go ahead and grab that wall too. All right, so without further ado, let's curl those toes and come into your first downward facing dog with me here. Put out the shoulders, look up to the hands, bend the knees, step the right foot forward carefully, left foot forward, half lift, forward fold. Reverse swan dive high up to the sky. Nice, thinking about the sky beyond the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, forward fold. Step your right leg back, left leg back, knees down, chin down, chest down. Baby cobra lift. Child's pose. Tabletop position, breathe in. Curl the toes, downward facing dog, breathe out. Let's do that again. Look up to the hands, bend the knees, left foot, right foot, half lift, forward fold, reverse swan dive, forward fold, exhale, half lift again, send it down, left leg, right leg, high plank, knees, chin, chest, baby cobra, let go of the hands, child's pose, tabletop position, Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg high to the sky, deep breath in. Thread the leg through, exhale. Ground the back foot, come up, warrior one. Warrior two. Straighten out that right leg, flip, other side. Facing the other direction, warrior two, exhale. Warrior one. Warrior two. Inhale, come back up. Look to the front of your mat. Warrior two, exhale. Warrior one, forward fold. Step your right leg back, three-legged, sorry, step your right leg back, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. High plank position, Chaturanga. High plank, Chaturanga. High plank. Downward facing dog. Left leg high up to the sky. Thread the leg through, ground the back heel. Warrior one. Warrior two. Come up to standing. Go to the back of your mat. Warrior two. Warrior one. Warrior two. High up. Front of your mat. Warrior two. Warrior one. Hands all the way down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing. Downward facing. Right leg high to the sky again. Deep breath in. Thread the leg through. Warrior one. Warrior two. Straighten the front right leg. Triangle pose. Reach, reach, reach. And either hand on the shin ankle or yogi toe lock here, deep breath. Send the left hand down, pyramid pose. Bring in the left foot, square the hips, forward fold, nose to knee. Standing split, lift the left leg high to the sky, deep breath in. Squaring the hips, grab, grab the ankle if you please.
carefully bring the right hand down, open into your first half moon. Opening the hips. Carefully with control, left leg back. Good, into your crescent lunge here. High lunge. Exhale, turn. Keeping the hips square, simply turning the torso. Inhale your way back. Hands fan down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing. Downward facing. Left leg high. Thread the leg through. Warrior one. Warrior two. Triangle pose. Nice sense of space coming from the left side. Warrior, I'm sorry, pyramid pose. Right hand down, deep breath in. Forward fold, nose to knee, extend the hands out. Or you can walk the hands back this time, intensifying the stretch in the hamstring. Ooh, yeah, that is an intense standing split, right leg high. Good, hands grabbing onto the ankle if you did so on the other side. I don't know what has happened to my balance in the last few months, but this is so difficult for me. Left hand down, right hand high, pyramid, pyramid into our standing split, into, of course, our half moon pose, just in case you missed it. Carefully with control, right leg back, high lunge. Twist to the other side. All the way up back to center, inhale the hands high, fan the hands down, left leg back, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, nice job, downward facing dog. Feeling really good, right? I hope so. Good, good, good. We're gonna come into a seated position and we're gonna just take a second to do um, some of our um, poses here, including cow face pose. So come to a seated position, left leg underneath, right leg up and over. We can start off with the left hand high and go into a seated spinal twist here. Why are we taking a little break from our poses? We warmed up. I trust there's a little bit more flexibility in the hip flexors so I didn't want to do cow face pose yet but now we're gonna begin you can tell how tense I am right knee over the left knee and you're wiggling here and you're gonna send that left hand high exhale touch the middle of your back right hand from underneath you either grab your sports bra you either just reach or you grab fingers together, stretching out the shoulders, cow face pose. I've been having such tight hips and doing this every day has helped so much. I haven't been doing it every day, which is why there's a gap a mile wide between my knees. But if you can sit here for a few minutes, it just opens out your hip flexors in a really noticeable way. Lean forward a touch more. And then release, very nice. Send both legs out, nice deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands up. Good, this time um, right leg is down underneath. Left leg is high, seated spinal twist. Hand up to the sky, exhale, twist. Jimmy would be so mad. A little counter twist if you want. Inhale your way back. Left knee is on top of the right. Right hand up high, touch the middle of your back. Left hand from below, 
reaches to grab the fingers, inhale. Exhale as you lean forward deeper. Make sure that the hip is grounded. If not, grab your blanket and just put it underneath. Otherwise, also just rock to your left side to ground and sit that sit bone. Inhale, hands up high, excellent. You're gonna bring those feet back, hands behind you, reverse tabletop position, deep breath in. Exhale, send that head back, three, two, one. Yeah, those shoulders, legs forward, forward fold. Reverse plank, point the toes, hands behind you, inhale, lift. Toes seek the floor. Oh, that's hard. Two, one, release. Cross your, leg, your legs, plant the hands, jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Nice work here. Right leg high to the sky, deep breath in, right leg back, rock star pose. Plant the hand down, right leg high, breathe in. Send the right leg forward, ground the back heel. Warrior one, deep breath in, warrior two, exhale. Straighten the front right leg, hands behind you, and then your left thumb over your right thumb, deep breath in. Humble warrior, forward fold. Great. Nice, I wanted to be actually in the other position here, but from this position, forward fold your way to wide-legged forward fold with your hand still bound. <laughs> and exhale, leaving your necklace off to the side, good. So I'm going to flip myself here, pretending I did it this way. Wide-legged forward fold that way. You're here in your wide leg, and we can go into our headstand. Crown of the head down to the ground, elbows down onto the floor, creating a tripod-like structure, but your um, elbows and forearms are still on the ground. Good. Crown of the head down, float those legs up carefully, slowly, slowly. Try to stay here when you get there for five breaths. which is okay with me, into your lizard pose. Deep breath in. And exhale here. You can leave your knee down. You can have your elbows down. You can lift. More intense, send your right arm in front of your shin. Definitely more intense. Walk your hands back up. Excellent, and inhale, hands up high to a star pose. El heels in, horse pose, exhale, nice. Wide stretch out in your inner thighs. Tall chest, shoulders relaxed, close your eyes. Lift the heels. Heels down, very nice, inhale, excellent. Pretending I was on one side, we're gonna flip to the other side. 
So now hands behind you, inhale, humble warrior to your other foot. So my right leg was the focus, now my left leg is the focus. Humble warrior, left leg forward. This is what I mean by flipped and bound. Upside down, hands underneath. Crown of the head, seeking the floor even more. With your hands still bound, good. Keeping your interlaced fingers come forward into a wide-legged forward fold with hands bound behind you, shoulders still stretching. Excellent, slowly release those hands down. Nice work. Second flip, second headstand. This time tripod headstand. Plant the hands down, crown of the head down to the floor. Slowly and carefully make your way back up. If you need a wall, go ahead and seek that wall here. Still have some time. Slowly widen the legs out. And exhale, very nice. Lizard pose towards the left leg. Elbows down if you need to. Take a deep breath in. So you might be towards the back of your mat. That's good. Knee down if you did so before. Left shoulder in front of the left shin if you did so before. Take another deep, filling breath into the lungs. Soften the muscles in the face. And make your way back up. Excellent, wide leg and forward fold. Heels in, star pose, horse pose. Wiggle out side to side a little bit. Slightly deepen the hips. Gentle on the knees. Shoulders back, nice, strong, long torso, and come all the way up to standing. Nice job, okay. And then we're gonna go to, let's go to the front of our mat this time. So towards one leg or the other, all the way up, hands all the way down. Chaturanga Dandasana. It's a journey, downward facing dog. Look up to the hands. Bring your um, knees to cross. Send yourself back. Good work. Come all the way up. Exhale, slowly lower back down. Bring your legs out wide. Happy baby pose for a moment. Bring yourself back. Excellent cross legs, feet, sorry, cross legs here, forward fold for a moment. We're going to end with our, um, a series of a few bound poses. It'll take us just over 20, almost there. Bring those hands down, jump the feet back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing, downward facing. Excellent job. Right leg high to the sky, deep breath in. Exhale, thread the leg through. Warrior one, warrior two, high lunge. Exhale, twist. Left hand down, right hand high. Bound, crescent. Lunge, revolve, lunge. Woo. Great, separate, deep breath in. Extend away from each other. Exhale. Woo. Straighten out that front right leg. Bring that left leg back. Triangle pose from here. Bound triangle, left hand behind you, right hand.
Left leg back, bound extended side angle. Now this is a different version of bound half moon and I'm not good at it. But who knows, maybe I will be today, maybe you will be. Keeping this bind, bend your left leg and come into a half moon pose from here. into half moon pose with your hand down. Now let's do our typical half moon bound pose where we grab our left leg and stretch out that left thigh and quadricep. From wiggly to now feeling very secure, excellent. Exhale that low left leg, walk through, wide legged forward fold. Left leg forward, excellent. Warrior one pose, warrior two. High lunge, exhale twist. Right hand down, left hand high. If you can, and you did on the other side, go for your bind here, deep breath in. Start to lengthen out the body. Feeling the shoulders really stretching in every direction. Right hand down, left hand up high. Exhale, forward into our high lunge pose. Warrior two, triangle, bound triangle. Bend your left knee, bound extended side angle. Look forward, newly bound half moon with the bind still intact. One leg might be easier than the other, that's okay. Every wiggle, every teeter is worthwhile, you know that. And then slowly open yourself out to your regular half moon. Bend your back leg. Grab it here for our typical bound half moon pose. Slowly reset, send that right leg back. Down, exhale, to the front of your mat. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. You got it, knees all the way down, excellent. And then we send ourselves back, cross-legged, bridge pose. Shoulders behind you, of course. Right thumb over the left thumb. Deep breath in. Exhale yourself down. If you have a wheel pose in you, go ahead and do it. If not, bridge pose once again. Deep breath in. chin into your chest. Exhale here. Nice. Bring your knees in close and send your legs all the way out for a minute of Shavasana. Stretching. 
next to that nice, soft electricity emanating throughout the body. All of your work, open hips, open shoulders, open mind. Wiggle your fingers and your toes, bend your knees. Roll onto the side. Come to a seated pose if you would like to and you have more time. Your seat can be a cow face pose. If you don't feel like doing that, no problem here. Bring your hands to heart center in whatever seated pose you are in and just thinking to yourself how grateful and how good it is to move your body to flip and bound yourself up. Deep breath in. Bow forward with me. Namaste. Thank you for such a lovely practice. I will see you very soon. My name is Debbie Shadani. This is Buff Hussy.